do that right now. Sorry. Are your hands even clean? Yes. Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. I had to ask. Yeah, I guess you did. <laughs> With Na, you have this first scene um, showcasing the intimacy and really setting the stage for the compatibility between this couple and the love that's clearly there. But then there's the element of foreshadowing with her being a nail biter, um, her girlfriend being clearly upset about it, making it clear how she just feels about it, you know, so we set the tone for how everyone feels about this particular thing that is gonna be the focus of this film. She's clearly grossed out about this nail and this hangnail, it, it causes so much tension in a relationship. And I loved how the actresses um, portray that in just the conversation and you know her wanting to start something before work and being like, I can't have you touch me with those nails and then her being offended and then you know her trying to rectify her harshness and then it being like no you said you were late right like you know I'm like oh. <laughs> all this over this nail so you already know this nail has to be the center of the story they do a really good job setting that up and this relationship is obviously the center of the story I mean, when she starts peeling away at her finger, like, wow. I mean, this the, I don't know, the CGI, the whatever y'all use to make that look realistic. It looked very realistic. And then it just was like the escalation of this self-utilization. Like, I know some nail biters, but like, ugh, I just feel like this was a message to everyone that bites their nails because this is the slippery slope. <laughs> for y'all is self-mutilization and she could not help herself and had no idea that she's picking away at herself and and you know covered in blood I got the sense that she's been picking away at her skin removing her skin from her body the whole day and I love the the audio over the credits in the end where it alludes to the fact that, you know, her girlfriend has left, her wife has left her to deal with this alone. Because I mean, what am I gonna do with that? <laughs> what is anyone gonna do with that? Um, but yeah, it was great. No, nah, uh, oh dear Lord. <laughs> uh, I think the moment I heard the words hang and nail, I knew exactly what was about to happen, and I was scared. <laughs> uh, but yes, it does deliver on that message. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was, um, this is very much, uh, they do very good, uh, they do a very good job with the practical effects, uh, in the sense that when it happens, God, does it make you cringe, but not in like a this is bad way, but in a, this is making me very uncomfortable. Uh, this film does a very good job at making you feel uncomfortable. And I think, ev I think it's because of the fact that everyone has had a hangnail. Uh, you knew exactly what was about to happen. And it does a very good job of escalating it and just making it as look as painful as it possibly could be. Uh, yeah, that was, no, no, it was very intense. Uh, no, was a film that I thought was very well paced and anchored by two really good lead performances, uh, portraying a relationship that comes across as genuine, uh, and quite believable, and I think the entire film kind of hinges on that, uh, and on that believability. Um, I thought the film does a really good job of building towards its climax, uh, which I thought was satisfyingly shocking. Uh, in its reveal, but I think it's elevated beyond just a momentary shock um, because of the way the relationship was established earlier. Uh, it's one thing to show uh, a startling or a, a scary image and just kind of uh, ride off the fact that the audience is going to be shocked or scared by that, uh, but this film chooses to give it more meaning and take the time to set up uh, the characters involved in that reveal to... 
make it that much more memorable, that much more powerful, and that much more fitting, uh, which is something I really, really enjoyed. Um, all of these things put together, I think they make the film the best film that it could be, uh, and I thought that it was pretty good. I liked it a lot. Wow. Uh, talk about uh, taking an everyday habit you know, problem and making a horror movie out of it. Uh, this is a really good idea, you know, that the title is effective and we kind of get in there and we see uh, what it's about and uh, kind of get an idea where it's going, but then, wow, it really goes there. So, um, yeah, you know, it's a, it's a story about uh, compulsion ruining somebody's life. You know, so it has meaning. So, uh, good job there. Um, you know, the, the two actresses did a uh, really good job. They were very convincing, very real. Um, this was really disturbing and unsettling. So <laughs> good job with this. Um, yeah, let's see what other bad habits you can make horror films out of. Maybe you can make this a series. But uh, great job. Nah was unsettling in the best way uh i was gonna say it was gross but i felt like that had a worse connotation kind of like the word na instead of chew um you definitely could have named this chew if you wanted to but na is much more mm, gross and unsettling and i think that really fit with this piece as well uh, you set up this hangnail issue this chewing this gnawing at the finger at the very beginning with this couple and and um having it be this reoccurring thing where it's like unsettling to the partner and then um you know further on the line she starts gnawing away at not only the hangnail but the rest of her finger and it's really gross and really unsettling and shocking and thrilling and um it gives good payoff to how unsettled the partner was in the beginning um and really is like a manifestation of the tension and like the underlying um bad vibes if you will uh but yeah visually uh the effects were really good um the gnawing effects were gross and by gross i mean very good um yeah overall a really lovely piece i like the pacing of it i like the payoff of it and i like the concept i think it was a really smart concept so really well done interesting way of showing what a bad habit can cause First, the idea of det possibly deteriorating a good relationship to being addicted to it to the point where you can't get help. Somebody doesn't really think about taking a hangnail off as something that could lead to something potentially, potentially deadly. But it's definitely an interesting way to show how one bad habit can be destructive to not only yourself, but the people around you who love you. Because Cody's addiction to gnawing at her hangnails shows that it's eventually going to kill her. And she doesn't even see anything wrong with it as long as she gets that hangnail. And her girlfriend, the person who loves her, is obviously wanting her help. Like anybody with a bad habit or an addiction, you want them to get help, but they don't always realize what the issue is. And so this film kind of showed both sides of an obsession or an addiction or a bad habit and both sides both the person suffering from it and the people who love you it shows both sides of it which was an act of brilliance these reviews for no i love horror movies and this one got me on its feasibility the outstanding performances and the great special effects they just have this gore images just just portraying how obsessive can humans be to our our own detriment and this is taking it to an extreme that i even had to pause it and i can take horror movies this was just amazing i absolutely loved it again the performers are outstanding the special effects the whole story uh, i just really enjoyed it